Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I'm checking out a newly released underwater drone from Chasing Underwater Drones and this is called the Chasing Dory and as you can see it's an adorable underwater drone. It's a lot smaller than the Gladius Mini which I reviewed on the channel a few weeks ago now. So the Chasing Dory is 1.1 kilograms. It also has a GPS enabled buoy so that means that you don't have to have a connection from the water to the shore or to the boat or to whatever you are standing on or sitting on. It's literally a wireless connection from the user to the drone. So for me this is something brand new and it's something really exciting as well. The drone is a lot smaller and it only offers a 1080p camera compared to the 4k camera but it is significantly cheaper. I will have those links in the description below when they are available. This is an early review unit so I don't actually have have any of the available links right now but I will update the description in the coming days. If you are new to the channel then make sure to subscribe and smash that notification bell as I'm brutally honest in my reviews and I thoroughly test the technology in the real world so you guys actually get to see how the product performs in a real world situation. I'd also like to give a massive shout out to Ian from Aussie Tech for helping out with this video. I will have a link in the description below to check out his channel. And also a massive shout out to Chasing Underwater Drones for sending out this unit for review. I'm really interested to test it a lot more over the coming days and put it through some real world examples. This video here was purely in my swimming pool just to have a bit more of a controlled test and to see how it actually performed underwater. The Chasing Dory is significantly cheaper than the Gladius Mini, so it looks like they're targeting more of a budget-friendly range here. This is really an everyday underwater explorer. It's got that 1080p camera with an f-stop of 1.6. Like I mentioned, it has that GPS-enabled buoy, so you actually have an idea of where the buoy and the drone are located. You have that 15-meter tether that goes from the buoy down to the drone, and in terms of the connection, you connect it to your phone and then you can control it with the virtual joysticks through the application. That actually worked really well. I was impressed with that. I tested it on an iPhone and an iPad. It worked really well. So that was a nice experience. And in terms of the build quality, I'm really impressed with how this drone feels, how it performs in the water, and just the overall rugged design to this drone. It's really cool, really interesting to look at, and extremely lightweight. It only weighs 1.1 kilograms. It also has a one hour battery life so if you compare that to the Gladius Mini with the two hour battery life it is half of the Gladius Mini but again it is significantly smaller than the Gladius Mini and from the tests that I've done so far in the pool it actually seems to exceed the one hour mark. It seems to go a lot longer than one hour, which is amazing. It really will depend on the current, the location, what's going on in the water, and also how you're using the drone. But for the most part, you seem to get over an hour of battery life. The Chasing Dory also offers the 45 degree adjustable tilt lock. So that means that you can tilt up or down to get the subject in the frame. And for the most part, that worked really Really well although I did notice that when you point up or down it will actually drift forward and back because the motors are obviously on a different angle then and you just get a slow movement a slow drift almost but it kind of adds to the footage and you can even just push forward gently to hold the position but it kind of adds that nice smooth moving shot when you're actually in that tilt mode so I was really happy with how that worked and how the app worked overall very easy to use and anyone can pick up and use the application with no difficulty difficulties at all. Now in terms of the actual connection to the drone and the wireless buoy, it's a very interesting design. So you connect from your phone on land or on a boat or wherever you are standing or sitting, you connect wirelessly from your phone, the Chasing Dory application, to that wireless GPS enabled buoy. And then from there you have a 15 meter tether from the buoy to the drone. Now they recommend that you can get about 15 meters away from that wireless buoy. And then that means that you have the additional 15 meters from the buoy to the drone. But one thing to be mindful of is that buoy weighs nothing. It's very buoyant and it floats around. So any sort of current is gonna pull that thing away from you. One thing that I would have liked to have seen is some sort of plastic 
plastic loop attached to the actual buoy so that I could connect some sort of fishing line or some sort of rope or any sort of cable or anything to actually hold on to that buoy because if that floats away I am going to lose connection from the drone and I have nothing at all to hold on to the drone or the buoy and I would have lost it at that point. So you just need to be very mindful of that, very careful and keep it within that 15 meter range from you. So far I'm really impressed with the chasing dory. So my first impressions are very positive. I was happy with how it performed in the swimming pool. It did an amazing job. We did brief test it in a pond but there was a lot of algae underneath us and as I actually sent the drone down a lot of the algae got caught up in the motors so that was a little bit worrying because you definitely do need maybe at least a meter just to be safe of water maybe half a meter would be fine but to be safe make sure you've got clearance of about a meter from the bottom of the water wherever you are that was just something really important that I kind of wanted to mention. But after I got it back to the pool, it did an amazing job. It performed really, really well. And I think after it has that depth to it, the drone itself actually has the five thrusters. So it does a really good job of holding its depth and it's very maneuverable as well. So overall, a really, really cool drone and thoroughly impressed with that first test of the drone. So keep tuned to the channel, like I said, make sure to subscribe and smash that notification bell as I will have more content on the Chasing Dory in the coming days. I'll also have my full review and I have a lot more tech coming. So keep tuned and let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Make sure to have a beautiful day and peace out.